Welcome back. I am carrying in my inventory a meta spell influence that would be useful for some. Right, right. This would allow him to memorize one extra second spell level, so... It'll be more useful than his necklace of missiles, which uh, is actually quite good, because it's uh, an instant fireball. And an instant 6d6 fireball? It's not a fireball, it's some kind of missile. Well, I'll have to try it at some point. I guess I could try it right away. We're all doomed. In the city. 10 charges? Ugh, that's a limited charges item. Um, ugh. I don't want to waste any charges of that. So let's keep it for Life is yes, so future if battles, but I'm not sure what it does exactly. <clears throat> so where are we? Okay, we'll exit to the south. And next we'll go to a southeast Baldur's Gate. I don't want to talk. Yeah, yeah. Where we have a couple of things to do. Most of the party can move here. Uh, move with the. Uh, Our quest is vain. See, just some. We're old. Here. Whatever. Because we got some minor business in this inn. Which is um, unnamed, it's just an inn on the map. Well, I'm sure it has a name though. Maybe we can ask the innkeeper. What is the point? You want some whiskey? My fine establishment today, what's its name? Hmm, there's no way to tell. In any case, in this nameless establishment is uh, Yurik. Mother said not to talk with strangers. Ah, uh, we were supposed to meet with him on a good quest. Hey, what do you want? I didn't do nothing. Hey, was the dam you let you have there? Mom set you up to this, didn't she? All right, all right. It looks dumb, but I'll wear it. Tell my mom, Nad uh, Nadine, that I'll miss her, but I'm not coming back. Tell her that I'll be safe. Bye bye now. Okay, so that was the quest with. Uh, Lady we met in the... Uh, if you want... I think Central Baller's Gate. And who asked us if we could deliver this amulet to her son. Mm. Well, we did. Go pester someone else. Now, this is Narlan, the guy uh, at the Thieves' Guild so for uh, whom we are working. And as usual, he told us to, yes. to come here with only uh, a thief. So all the party will hide in the uh, inn for now. Luck be a lady. Swipe the Duchess knickers once, if you know what I mean. This dark will see how you are on the inside. Red Edge will I spy the alley, while ye and I search and keep. Follow on to the door, I'll be the picker. Once we get it uh, once we're inside, get the gems, then we make for the guild. You won't be seeing much of much of me, I'll be keeping to the shadows. Actually, he will not really enter the building. So we are to steal some gems here. Let's see what the journal says. Doing the stealing. What is the stealing exactly? The theft of a valuable rogue stone. So we're looking for a rogue stone inside. Great peril yields great beauty. Of this estate, so let's see. Some gold. Books. Books. Well, let's go upstairs. Wherever fate takes me. More books. I guess it's uh, here. Oh. That would be the owner of the place. Well... Oh crap. Uh, uh, what? Uh, who's there? Uh, meow? 
Mm, blasted cat. Alright, that works. I'm not sure it'll work every time though, so... Whoops! It's trapped! Well, well, well. Let's do that again, shall we? Yes, if you wish. Yeah, obviously, if that contains a rogue stone, it's probably trap. Oh, it should have We're all doomed. Whatever. So, let's send Zon here again. Apologies, apologies. What? Shall yeah, yeah. Life is so hollow. What is the point? So let's deliver this if you want. amulet again. Oh, I'm actually. Whatever. Let's just leave it on there for yes. now. What is your bit luck? Be a lady. And so let's redo this. Once, if you know what I mean. Great peril yields great beauty. Okay, so here's the gold. Wherever fate takes me. Here's the owner of the place. Yeah, yeah, I'm a cat. So, here is the famed rogue stone. Actually, the trick works uh, just a second time. Wait, wait a minute. I don't own a cat. Who's there? I'm a stray, go back to sleep. Shh. Uh, that makes sense. Night, kitty. It won't work a third time though. So luck be a lady. Now that the deed is done, let's get out of here. Great peril yields great beauty. Our quest is what is the point? If you want. Okay. Uh, next we will enter this in. Me. Which is the Blade and Stars. And uh, let's read a bit uh, of Volo's guide. This inn is named for its enchanted signboard, looted from a ruined village in Arm after a long ago trade war. It's a large black sign displaying a curved saber held by a delicate, long fingered female human hand. Local legend says a female Yonti is walled up in the inn, frozen in mid battle by a desperate and long gone wizard spell. When he dies, she'll be released. Uh, the inn is officially four stories tall, but um, apparently in Baldur's Gate it's only uh, three stories. Unless you count the roof as a story. Uh, also, the signboard described by Volo is nowhere to be seen. Yes? So. This guy Luck, is a, a prophet. Yeah, mate. You. You are a light entering darkness. You are a seeker of truths. You are more than you realize. The seer has spoken it because the seer knows the fear you harbor. The fear you shall yet become. In the lair of the basilisk, you will find a sphine gem. You would do well to bring it to me. And, um... He will actually take all sphines, all sphine gems in your inventory. So since we have several, uh, we will drop all but one. Um. This is so complicated. What is your bidding? Life, luck, be a lady. The Sphine Gem. Indeed, then, you are more than you appear. 
Someday you must journey further through the muck and mire of this place, for it would tell you as much or more than all a fabled candle keep. Like yourself, the city is more than it appears. There are cities below cities, dreams beneath dreams, the past laying buried beneath the crushing weight of the present. Go now, wanderer, for the time will come when you must walk through the darkness to find the light. Honestly, that was one of the most worthless prophecies I've heard, and it appears... Okay, we still have our Sphine gems. In fact, he he took none from uh, Zon's inventory, so I suppose we had another one lying around somewhere. Yes. Yeah, it's too late to check, though. I don't want to talk. So... Sure. Let's say hello to the innkeeper. My rooms are the best kept on the Sword Coast. I'll tell you straight out, we do not cater to unruly guests, and if you disturb any of the other patrons, you will be asked to leave. If you press the matter, you will be assisted to the door. For the good of all concern, I'm sure you will not let it go that far. Such an unfriendly welcome, I suppose because I'm speaking with the lowest charisma character in the group, and we have low reputation. If you're going to be so rude, my companion will just take leave of this place. What is your great peril yields? Great Maybe he'll beauty. be more friendly to Cora. My rooms are the best kept on the sword. Coast. Nope, not even. Huh? Hmm. Anyway, we are here for more than the mm. idle so banter. Collapse from exhaustion before I fall And that is delivered the uh, removal. Yes, the guest removal scroll to Lavender. No, oh, my life is in shambles. <laughs> so, how did you fare? Do you have the cure to my guess? We have your cure. Now, where is the antidote to poison? All right then. Here's my half of the antidote. Marek, my partner, possesses the other half of the antidote. You'll find him at the Blushing Mermaid Inn. I can't help you other than that. Okay, so. Uh -huh. He got released and not us, and disappeared forever. So I really hope. Uh, yes. What is your bidding? He says the truth. Maple Willow Aspen. She has a unique name, so she probably has some dialogue. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What? You were going to ask about my name, weren't you? Everyone wants to know about it, and you're probably no different. Well, fine. Maple Willow Aspen is my name, and yes, my parents were very fond of trees. I am very aware of it, and no, I don't want to hear any jokes about family trees and me being the sap. Are you happy now? <laughs> That's so great. That's so great. <laughs> you have problems? How do you think I feel? Huh? Is that cool? What were they thinking, huh? 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 What? Uh, perhaps you should relax a little. <laughs> Goodbye. What is your luck? To make Be your a lady. Can we try the others? So your parents were very fond of trees. What? What? She turned to fire. Well, well, that was uh, unexpected. Let's go on the third floor, shall we? Oh, another NPC with a name. Great peril yields great beauty. Reginald Longtooth Worth. Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured personage. Hello. A fine and sunny day to you, wherever you wake and wherever you lay. Always willing to extend a hand to a new face, ah, uh, so to speak. Um, okay, have you heard anything interesting lately? Any quests and such? Quests? Quests indeed. To seek that which is to be sought, and find what could be found by looking in, looking in the right spot, as long as they were left there in the first place. Discovering that which was known, to, was known but forgotten, but then remembered and sought anew, though old to begin with. Such pursuits are well worth following. Eh, he said uh, absolutely nothing at all. Um, then what can you tell me of this city? The city? Why, the city is a fine place. Quite expensive in its majesty and most comprehensive in its lay of the land. 
It's a wonder to behold, and once it's held, you don't want to let go. Such grandeur and beauty contain within its plain and modest settings and citizens. It exudes a quiet nobility that practically screams from every rooftop. It is a wonder. It is simplicity. It is Baldur's Gate. Well, that was at least uh, poetic. And what do you do? Are you an adventurer? Uh, I think I asked that already. No, I did not. Are you an adventurer like myself? Adventuring, a fine and glorious pastime that passes time like no other. Yeah, a pastime that passes time. To seek the highs and lows of the depths and heights. To follow <laughs> the highs and lows of the depths and heights. All right. To follow in the footsteps leading down paths never trod upon. To plumb the furthest reaches of oneself while exploring the very world just outside your door. Such a life is a grand one indeed, though simple in its complexity. A stunning display. You talked for hours and yet said absolutely nothing. Well, I suppose on some levels, what I said could be construed as, as nothing. You have absolutely no valuable information at all, do you? If indeed you are asking whether my discourse has validity derived from dispensing useful tidbits of otherwise unknown stratagem and statistics, then... Uh, no. I thought not. Alrighty then. Yep. I'll be off then. Indeed. Radio. Oh, uh, that's one of the best dialogues in the game. <clears throat> I knew that one. But it's always fun. So, nothing of value here, and um, we'll be off. Yes, it is done. As I thought. 